Yeah, so the one that immediately pops to mind is actually the first ever project I worked on. It's a um, little village down in Cornwall, and um, they have a historic harbour um, that I think they stopped using in about the 1970s. Basically, the entrance channel has is filled up with sand over the years. And now whenever they get large storms, big waves, it all just kind of, it runs straight up the beach and fills the harbour basin up and floods the village. Yeah. So my first project was actually putting in a 16 metres wide, um, little tiny flood bund in the harbour channel, um, in between the grade one listed walls um, to basically stop the overtopping and stop the village flooding from coastal. Um, and I actually recently I was speaking about this project at a conference a few weeks back and uh, the client happened to be in the audience and he put his hand up for a question and he said, uh, I know this isn't a question, but but did you know that that your flood bomb was tested about three weeks after it was finished building mm. and it worked? So I know that what I designed and, and what my team we worked on has actually done its job. And not that I had doubt in our ability, but... To know that it has actually prevented flooding in that village and, you know, businesses and homes weren't underwater during this storm event. I think that's a really meaningful impact and actually to know that and kind of have that kind of close out on a project. Because quite often we, we we do designs, we send them off and, and that's it. You know, if we're not involved with the build side or the technical supervision, depending on what kind of work we're on, you never really get that closure. So actually to go full full loop on that project and actually hear that it's, it's it's been tested and it worked, that was really nice. And so yeah, I think that's a that's a big one for me. 